You got me thinking about all the things you do. I just can't resist. And you know I'm feeling for different reasons. And I can't even start. You got me feeling. I can't believe it. Cause she like a song, a song that's stuck in my mind A song that's stuck in my mind She's stuck in my mind A song that's stuck in my mind yeah. Cause she like a song, a song that's stuck in my mind A song that's stuck in my mind Hi guys, welcome back to my channel If it's your first time here, welcome My name is Reese and today I'm gonna be showing you guys How I got this super cute um, green goddess As I like to call them, braids so it's summertime and I wanted to do a protective style so I decided to put these braids in. A company on AliExpress is kind enough to send me this hair to review so I will definitely link that down below. And so I also decided to throw in a little bit of decoration, some hair decoration to spruce it up. Um, so I added some beads. I put small braids throughout, maybe like five or six so that I could add beads and then on the big braids I just added the regular gold clasps and I got the beads and the clasps from a local beauty supply store like two dollars one to two dollars a pack this is how they look I absolutely love them this style took me three and a half hours to do and I used five packs of the hair that they sent be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel because I will have many more videos coming soon. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so this is the hair that I am using for this tutorial. Once again, I got it from a company on AliExpress called Leave-In Hair and I'll link it down below. So the first thing I'm going to do is section off a little tiny piece in the back of my head because like I said, I want those small braids so that I can add beads. And then you're just going to section the hair into one third and two thirds and then loop them together like this. And now you have your three sections of braid. Does that make sense? Okay, so then you're just going to add the hair into your head. Now it's so super duper hard for me to explain in words like how you grab the hair. But hopefully you guys can see um ew look at all that oil on my neck i literally drenched my scalp but anyway so you might not be able to see right now how to actually grab the hair but i do have a clip that you'll see in just a second that shows you better so once again i'm just going to section the braiding hair into one third and two thirds loop them together and now you have your three braiding sections and so basically all you're doing is putting one sec one section of your real hair to one section of the braiding hair and just braiding it like normal, I think. It's so hard for me to put in words, I have no idea why. But you're just going to do that and then continue to braid it down to the bottom of the braid. And for whatever reason, I did not have to pull the ends of this hair. Like it just frayed not frayed but it was uneven on its own like it wasn't blunt so that was nice and this is how the braids look so here I am almost done with my head and I'm going to show you how I'm parting the hair there's no particular way but I just make sure that I don't put any one braid directly on top of the other I always try to put a braid in between two from the row below it so that it fills in the spaces and doesn't look so gappy so in order to section my hair this time all I'm doing is finding where I want the part to start and doing a little circle whoop and then that's your part basically so I'm just gonna check and make sure the section looks nice and neat how I want it that it's a good size and not too big or not too small and if it is you can just go ahead and part it again so yeah I'm just measuring to make sure I like how it looks and then I'm going to add in my braiding hair. And after this is coming, the braid that you can see how to actually do it. What am I talking about? It's like 1 a.m. and I'm clearly tired. Okay, so just braid the hair in and braid all the way down to the end. And I literally put nothing in my hair this time aside from oil, I think. That's clearly running all down my neck. But anyway, so you're just going to continue to braid until you get to the end of the braid. Now, after this, 
you are going to oh, never mind <laughs> all right so this is the part where I show you closer so as you can see I'm grabbing one section of my hair and it's parting a little bit off and then I'm grabbing a little more right there then on this last go around because it's the last piece I already did one two and now I'm grabbing the rest of the hair if you didn't understand that feel free to rewind it and I'll also link down below another video that I have on how to do box braids where I think I get some good visuals of how to actually attach the braiding hair to your real hair so now I'm showing you guys the beads that I added once again I got them from the local beauty supply store and you're just gonna take a crochet hook and add your beads onto the crochet hook now I added four beads on each braid but the crochet hook only fits four so you have to do one after but you just open your crochet hook literally latch it on and then push the beads up and they're on your hair so it's super de duper easy and it's quick so like I said I have to add one more because it wouldn't fit five in a row and I wanted five on each braid so I just picked different patterns and ways to put the beads on because I didn't want every braid to have the same pattern then all you do is fold the end of the hair over and I took two rubber bands and I'm just wrapping it around the end so that the bead is secure and then you can cut off the extra hair and then for the gold clasps, clasps that's such a hard word to say you just open it up and wrap it around the braid and then squeeze it shut so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys love it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Be sure to check the description box as well for more information. And I just love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. The one that you was into, the one that you was into, the one that you was into. But girl, you a blessing and I need you. I believe that God sent you. Just don't go in my head on me. If you feel like